All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video. This is a toy review or, you know, we're going to check out some toys from Marvel Contest of Champions. I never thought they would release something like this, but these are Funko Pop toys. And I used to make videos on these toys, right? And, you know, I, I thought they're just going to come out with some of the regular characters that you see in marvel and not focus on video games but surprisingly they came out with the funko pop toys for marvel contest of champions so anyways uh there is two four six six toys in total we only have five because i i you know i'm not too crazy about all getting all the characters but i i want to show you what i got and you probably can already see it right uh, they have King Groot, Guillotine, Civil Warrior, Venom Pool, Howard the Duck, and Punisher 299. And you already probably already noticed that I don't have Punisher 299 because I'm not too crazy about that character. He is who he is. Here's Guillotine. I mean, that's really, you know, a unique character because this was made. I remember when this character was designed. It was specifically for Marvel Contest of Champions. I guess now they have a story for her. Number 298. Uh, nothing special about these pop as you can see she has her sword and everything which is relatively cool All right, so next one I picked up was King Groot and King Groot this one I gotta take out and show you guys this one is really really, you know, it's a solid character It's <laughs> not in the sense of video game, but you know, it's solid. Look at this. This thing is like I Don't know. I mean, it's a pretty you know, it's a character that can stand, unlike, you know, I don't think Guillotine can stand. Her legs are so small, it's unbelievable. And, you know, they added their own design to this King Groot, as you can see here. Obviously, uh, it looks cuter, even though it's supposed to be evil. I mean, yeah, there it is. All right, so this one, you know, the King Groot one is actually more unique than these that I have to show you. So here's Civil Warrior. You know, there's nothing... That's too different. He has a head. I guess the the only thing that's different is the shield. And I think there is one with a more unique shield uh, that is actually see-through and it's exclusive. They actually have a green one from Hot Topic, but I, I don't even know why they would do that. It looks so ugly. Uh, this one looks better. I like the original. It is what it is. You can collect the exclusive one if you wish. But, you know, unlike King Groot, King Groot, you'll notice, I, I mean... It doesn't take a genius, right? I mean, he has a different head compared to that. That has the same head as every other pop that, you know, you pretty much... Like, there's not that much of difference between this head and this head. They, they both look like they're square, right? And, of course, even Venom Pool there. So, the Civil Warrior, I love that character. Really cool character. But I never got him as a four-star in the game, which is unfortunate. And I don't know if I'll ever get him. So, here's Venom Pool. This one has the phone. This one is the GameStop exclusive. Uh, the other one doesn't have anything. He's just like, wah, right? So, you know, there, there's the Venom pool. And, you know, when he has the phone, he's like, dude, wait a minute. I need, I need to go make a phone call or a phone call is coming in. And then uh, they stop in front of the battle, right? So he does have like some piercing on the, uh, on the eyes, which are like stitches there. But again, you know, square head kind of thing, just like the common pop design. Lastly, we have Howard the Duck. This one is really, really unique. Let me take this thing out. Even though, you know, it has uh, a pretty square head, right? Which makes it like really similar to some of the other characters. But look at him. He's like a figure within a figure. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they gave out Howard the Duck as a four star in the game. So it's pretty nice to be able to see this character. As you can see here, there's a lot of detail, much more than any of the other pop that I've seen, right? Look at that, they, a lot of stuff that's happening there. Head's pretty nice. The same thing, you can't really do anything with it. It only stands there and it's heavy. It's really, really heavy. I've never seen a pop that this that is this heavy except for the Hulk Buster. But anyways, that's the Marvel Contest of Champions line of Funko Pops. I like, I think this is wave one. Uh, the only one I haven't gone, and I, I have no plans of getting it. I'm not crazy about it. I mean, even if, like, even for me, I wasn't, like, I didn't really care about King Groot or Guillotine. I mean, Civil Warrior, I had to have and have. And Venom Pool, of course, Howard the Duck. That's a nice character to have as well. 
I have no regrets on these characters. Uh, I think this one's really fun. But anyways, that's it for this video. I just wanted to go over it. Let me know which one you gotten and which one you would get in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time as we, you know, see if there's more pops and other toys to collect. Be sure to subscribe and check out the other Game Teep channel where I did do a full review of the Infinity War toys that we got. And you know how different it is, right? The toys between the Infinity War and actually you know what what happened obviously there are some that are you know the same as the toy i guess the movie right but they're missing a lot of things such as the weapon and maybe sometimes some armoring and things like that and i think hulk was in there and hulk wasn't even in the thing that much but anyways there we are the marvel contest of champions funko toy funko pop toys and you know i'll see you guys next time hopefully they come out with wave two let me know who you would like to see as wave two obviously they're putting characters that are pretty exclusive into these funko pods because guillotine and punisher 29 civil warrior i think that was even created for marvel contest of champions so you know i'd like to see some other classic characters maybe spider-man 29.9 i like that anyways actually that's not even in the game but i like to see it in the game Anyways, I'll see you guys next time in the next video as we continue to follow Marvel Contest of Champions.